Welcome back again. We've been talking about the five C's, right? We have already talked about from the previous video on communication. We've talked about consistency. We talked about building character. But one of the other aspects that's so important is that even for making sure that communication, some of us might be feeling uncomfortable or being consistent or building that character, is to have the courage to do it. And it's something that we need to instill in our kids. Courage, that sometimes we feel something might be a challenge, but we have to still move forward and deal with that circumstance and that obstacle and move forward. Uh, uh, move forward. So there is a quote that I think is so important that, uh, that I, I've, I've read before. It says, courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is to move forward despite the fear. Again, I want you to hear that one more time. Courage is not the absence of fear. We are going to, when we do something that might be tough, we are going to be nervous. We might have some anxiety. We might have some challenge. Even talking to your kids might be sometimes nervous or at work. Even our kids are, uh, need to understand that when they are going to try out for a sports team or a club or that math test or that reading test or that AP course or trying to talk to a friend at the park for the first time and trying to introduce themselves. That is, they're going to have some, uh, uh, some worries or they're going to feel uncomfortable. But then to move despite the fear is so important. And that's what we want to instill. To have good character, they're going to have to go ahead and make those steps. So if that means now they are going to, oh, I have to go and help out and give some time, I feel uncomfortable working here in this community and this and that, well, they need to see that. They sometimes, parents are like, well, I don't want them to see on video, like, hey, you know, people uh, who have some challenges, maybe they're going to make them feel sad. But at a certain time in middle school, high school, they're going to have to see that, look, there are other people going through tougher times. When kids realize that, yes, I'm going through some tougher times, but there are people who have tougher situations than us, it helps them un be more grateful and thankful and understand they're not the only one. So we have to be courageous in talking to them about their grades and saying, I know this subject might be tough, but let's make some steps. What can we do? I need you to more move forward. You can't lose hope on yourself, right? When it comes to family, there might be some tough times that we might have an issue with our spouse, with our child, and you cannot lose hope. We have to have the courage to talk about those those elephants in the room and say, hey, look, this is a situation. How can we do it? How are we going to deal with it? How are we going to fix it? And when we do that and encourage that, it could go a long way. Health problems. If sometimes you have a health problem, say, look, this is a health issue. This might be a, 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 a sickness. It might go uh, tough. Like I myself uh, I've, um, uh, went through cancer, talking to a kids and saying, look, I'm gonna have to go through chemo. There's a chance my health could be bad. It could get tough. I'm gonna lose my hair. I might, I'm gonna lose a lot of weight. But having that thing, uh, communication with them, so by the time when it's happening, they're not worried. They knew that this might happen, but hopefully things will get better with prayers, with, with positivity, and they see that I have become better. And I pray that I still, you know, uh, you know that it doesn't come back. But they, you have to have these communications with them. Even when they want to join, sometimes kids who are academic, but socially they feel tough. They don't know how to communicate. A lot of times lower grade parents like my child shy, which is nothing wrong with your child being shy. But you can help them develop and say, let's go to play here. I want you to go and say hello to that individual. I want you to ask, can I play with you? I want you to say, hey, you know, um, can I share, can you share this with me? Or even as they get older and say, look, you know, I want you to go to that store and buy that milk. Uh, I want you to buy groceries. I'm going to stay outside. So they show some independent, uh, independence. Uh, see. They can say, you know what, today, now you're getting older. I need you to make sure you put your homework in the uh, book, a bag. I need you to make some breakfast sometimes. I need you to make sure that you, you, you uh, I'm not going to make your bed that and now as you get older, it's your turn to make the bed. I can't constantly tell you everything to do. You need to be consistent uh, uh, with, with your behavior, with your homework habits, with your schedule. Everything that you slowly build, there's a certain time that they're going to have to deal with it and they're going to have to build on it. And when that challenge comes, that doesn't mean they have to do it on their own. You could be that support or you could provide that support, but then you need them to also deal with it. We can't hover, be the helicopter parent where they feel like, I've never seen anything. I want to hide things from them so they don't, they don't feel it. Because at a certain time, you might not be there. And if they don't know how to at least build our, uh, um, some resilience and deal with situations, it can really devastate them. So we want to make sure, encourage from the emotional aspect, from the academic aspect, physical. Oh, I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm already heavy set. I was born that way. No. We'll take steps, being consistent with exercise. And that courage and say, let's take the steps. 
let's jump in, let's move forward, and they kind of have build on it. I myself, uh, it was a, my, my mom was scared of uh, dogs. I was scared of dogs. I wanted to make sure my kids were not scared of dogs. So we made it a habit where one of my friends had us like, I need my ch children to touch that dog, feel comfortable, because I didn't want them to have that same habit. I never learned how to swim. I have a fear of water. I've jumped in the water a few times just to learn how to swim. I'm still not the greatest, but I wanted to make sure my kids didn't have that same process and say, I want you to learn this. Even my son who was a little scared when he was young, slowly, slowly developed to a point now he's comfortable. So those are things that we have to put them in situations where there might be some uh, uh, um, risk factor, nothing is safety, security where it could be hurt. You have the right parameters around them, but they're gonna have to help do that because it will only help them. So for, through struggles, health struggles, financial struggles, we will go through it and these points I'm making are not just for kids, but even for us adults. Thank you, so hopefully you have the courage to keep moving forward and I think you have the courage for even taking your time to listen to, to these little small reminders. Thank you so much. We are honored to say this video is sponsored by Amana Mutual Funds. Amana Mutual Funds favors companies with low price to earnings multiples, strong balance sheets, and proven businesses. They follow a value-oriented approach consistent with Islamic finance principles. Start investing in a pure way today with Amana Mutual Funds.